Yeah, Jürgen, Jürgen, yeah. Okay, yeah, I've got... I'll, the, the, the tactic you gave me is working great. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah, I'm playing uh, Stoke, I think, next. Who, who shall I pick in the team? Iheanacho, okay. Yeah, and what sort of team talk do I give? Okay, yeah. No, you've been a great help. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give you full credit. Yeah, yeah, no, full credit for, you know, all... You're basically picking the tactic in the team, so... Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. All right, mate. Um, I don't think so. No, I'm not... Yeah, all right. Yeah, but, yeah, so Ian Acho, we go for Ian Acho and Vardy up front. Okay. Okay, just let me know. If, if during the game, just text me any instructions you want me to use and stuff like that. All right. Yeah, cool. I, I've got to go. Okay, what the fuck are you doing? Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to episode 13. We're doing all right. It's going pretty bloody well, in fact. Um, transfer window has started. We've made a signing. We've sold a player. We're about to sell another player. And uh, we've got a little bit more money because we could change... Because uh, we were supposed to get Europa League this season. But I said, yeah, let's up it to Champions League. And they gave me another 10 million and stuff. So that was nice of them. Nice of the board. So we've got a ton to catch up on. We've played a bunch of games. Uh, where were we last time? Um, now, if I can remember. Shit, what was the last episode? Does anyone know what the last episode was? Right, I, can't, I, I, I remember. I was going to say I remembered. I checked, obviously, on the last episode. And that was a 5-1 League Cup win against um, Chelsea. We then went on, smashed Leicester 5-0. Premiership champions Leicester 5-0 a couple of years ago now in the game. Uh, Tex-Mex scored two penalties. Jamie Vardy, a brace, and El Abadabli got a, his first goal for the club. Loving that. And then this was the game against Hamburg to decide who wins the uh, group. And Lacazette, from nowhere, has scored, I think, one goal all season. Scored four. He's just waiting for it. He's just waiting. We then played away to West Ham. Decent game. Just didn't put away our chances. Nathaniel Klein getting a late equaliser for us after a late West Ham goal. We then scraped a bit of a win against Bournemouth. Joel Matip and Tex Mex getting the goals. 88th minute winner. I was like, okay, is, is are we starting to fall down a bit here? Two not great performances. But then we smashed mid-table uh, Newcastle 5-0. Bernasha. And then there was the Machiao own goal. Lacazette got another brace. And Sacco got a goal. Ian Acho got a minor injury. He was out for a few weeks, but he was back in time for the big Man United game coming up. So that was good. Lacazette got the winner against Swansea for a 1-0 win. Then we beat Crystal Palace 3-0. Tex-Mex, Tex -Mex, Divokarigi and Lacazette again. And then, obviously, we had our usual war of words with um, the bell end that is Mourinho. And uh, then, um, miraculously, um, Ian Acho got a mystery virus. I'm not casting any aspersions. Think of that what you will, yeah? But then we got beaten. We got outplayed, like, fully deserved victory for Manchester United. It was awful. They're definitely our bogey team. Uh, Griezmann with a free kick and Daly Blind uh, with a goal. Yeah, so I was like, okay, not good. And that's who we're challenging for. But then... Chelsea, who we seem to be in a bit easy, beat them 3-0. Jamie Vardy hat-trick, why not? FA Cup, away to Swansea, Tex-Mex Penn and a Daniel Ayala own goal. Obviously, excellent pool player. Thanks for that, Danny. And then we played Fulham in the League Cup semi-final. Drew 0-0. Poor draw. I was thinking, what the fuck is going on there? So then we went and played Hull. And we beat them 9-0. Jamie Vardy hat-trick, Divock Origi with four goals, Kovacic with two goals. Absolutely sensational. I was a bit annoyed we didn't get a ten. Nathaniel Klein, just the five assists that game. And then we comfortably beat Tottenham, who are struggling down in eighth, I think. Ward Prowse and Ian Acho back from his injury, gets a brace. Just loving it, loving it. Today we are playing Stoke away from home and the se semi-final second leg of the League Cup. Let's look at the transfers. <clears throat> So the players we've sold um, 
is John Flanagan. We sold for 6.5 million. He was never going to be a sort of big part player. And we're about to sell Lalana to Man City for four and a half million. It's not much money, but he's actually only got six months left on his contract. So to get any money at all for him is quite handy. And we bought in Lucas Digne. I'm going to say Digne. Digny, if you want to pronounce English, we're going to call him Digger from here on out. Okay, so we got Digger in for thirty million pounds, just to give. That was the only weak point we had in our team was a really good backup left back or rotational left back for um, what was his name, Rodriguez. We only had the youngster, so I, I thought that's the only place that I need to strengthen. So that's what we did: thirty million pounds. Very, very good player. Only twenty-four years old, four-star player, loving life, boys. Right, so let's get on with game day. With my embarrassment of riches, uh, Ian Atcho's just back from injury, and Vardy's actually overtaken him as top scorer this season. So that was interesting because Vardy had a pretty poor start, to be honest. Um, the team, the tactic hasn't changed any way, shape, or form. We've been playing this every game. We probably shouldn't have played against Man United. They're a bit too good. Um, but Kovacic just behind the striker because unfortunately Tex Mex is out injured for about a month. I think it was. What's wrong with him? Sprained ankle, another three weeks. If we look at the league table, we're top three points clear of Man United, who are our bitter rivals. They keep beating us. Got to sort that out. Um, we've got Anderlecht in the Europa League knockout stage. We've got Aston Villa in the Cup. So we're still in everything. We could win everything. What a way that would be to end this little mini-series, if we could win everything. But right now, let's concentrate on getting a win against Stoke and smashing Fulham in that second leg. Because that first leg was awful. Right. How do you think... Uh, I don't care about a gap of three days. Okay, they've got Berahino and Bojan up front. Uh, pick up where he left off. It's kind of my team talk every game pretty much at the moment. Can't believe just how well it's going. I think... I won't speak too soon. But I've actually built a good tactic. It's a rarity for me, guys. I normally stumble across something. But I actually planned... We saw at the end of last season where we saw... I've, there was glimmers of hope that this tactic could work. And then I worked on it in the summer. We trained it all summer. And it's actually working. It's helping that I've bought some really good players. I think I did some amazing work in the transfer market in the summer. But I think this tactic is working. The way we play is brilliant. We just create a lot of clear-cut chances and, and half chances. That's the main thing. We still give away chances, but they're usually quite a lot of long shots. We'll see in this. this is, we're going to lose 2-0 and we'll not have a single chance now, this game. Just to prove my point. Prove that I'm an idiot and I cheat, obviously. Hashtag narrative. Um, <laughs> I don't cheat. Just That's a joke. Just in case any of you wondered. Um, I kind of just don't see the point in cheating. Because it's actually, YouTube videos I think are funnier and more entertaining when I'm struggling, to be honest. So, oh Jesus, the only time I cheat is to make me worse. Yeah. Right, let's get in with it. Come on, come on boys. You want a nice, nice easy victory for us. No injuries. We're going to get, oh Jesus, he's missed that header big time. Bojan, go away. Oh, great tackle from Hendo, just signed a new contract. Right. Oh, that's a disgusting little Joe Allen. Oh, he's he's getting sent off straight away. Four minutes gone. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Joe Allen obviously didn't like getting sold by Liverpool. And he was out to prove a point. Okay, so come on. We should win this, right, people? Come on. We're playing really well. They've got ten men. They're a mid-table team. Henderson dinks one in. Matip's there. Floats a header in back post. And again, second time lucky. Henderson, Ward Prowse fires one in low, but it's cleared away. Bojan are just going, uh, Bojan, uh, Stoker just going to have to hang on, I think, for this entire half. Imagine the half-time team talk, right? You know that team that have just scored nine goals in their life <laughs> against Hull. Well, we've got ten men, so can we just just take a two-nil loss now? I think they probably would take a two-nil loss now. Kovacic, Henderson, go on. Lovely threaded through ball. Sacco's there, the centre-back, still up from the corner. Gets his fourth of the season. Uh, he's a little bit unhappy because um, I think Barcelona are interested. It's always a pain in the arse when you get to a transfer window and you're doing well and suddenly all your players get disrupted. That's what we've got to be careful of. Henderson was wanted by Man City, uh, but we gave him a new contract to, get, to solve that ha unhappiness. Uh, but uh, Sacco is also wanted. 
Right, come on. I'd like a second goal just so we can be done with this game. Right. I don't think they're going to score many goals. That's a lovely ball in. Oh, it's fired across. And Matip, the other centre-back. It was clear. I don't think he knew much about it. It was cleared onto him. It just hit his bollocks. Went in. He bollocked it in. You don't hear that shit on Match of the Day. Where Did it hit him on the bollocks? Where are we going for? Oh, it did hit him on the bollocks. It's a cock goal. He bollocked. Cheeky, cheeky left bollock. Side, side bollock. I'm trying to go side foot. Side bollock in. That's what he did. Right. Comfortable, boys. Carry on. You can just sit back and relax, boys. I don't know why I'm wearing a Christmas shirt, by the way. Um, why not? Why not? Yeah, it's November, isn't it? It's close enough. Two months away. <laughs> right, another set piece. We're becoming actually very good at set pieces, which is weird for Liverpool, as in real life, it's kind of the opposite. Kane has done really well there. Ball across. This should be a goal. And it is. Berahino. Steady on, Liverpool. Steady on. Ah, that was dangerous. Kane just beat his man. Fires it in near post. Berahino, keeper positioning's all wrong. And Berahino pokes it in at the near post. And suddenly, out of nowhere, from what should have been a comfortable victory... There's a little bit of tension. The strikers aren't performing today. All right. Why are you looking nervous, boys? Why are you all looking nervous? Um, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. I might look at a cheeky sort of central midfield, attacking midfield, backup player, just to, in case we do get any injury, any more injuries, because Lalana's going to go, obviously. I like keeping a small squad, but it might be a little bit too small. Right, Berahino, he's only got eight men to beat. Didn't beat the first one. Brilliant. Go on, Kalino. Kovacic, space to run into. Go on, he's just drifted past him. And Bula just... No, it does the business. Could this be actually be Stoke's highlight? Can we not lose points against the 10-man Stoke, please? Thank you. Kone, Dingney's our oh, digger. Go on, son. Iheanacho threads it through to Ward-Prowse. To Kovacic, to Henderson. It's just, it's just some, they play some lovely football. Ooh, decent effort. Ryan, very good goalkeeper, saves well. After saying, oh, look, this 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 tactic is amazing. Look at all the clear cut chances. We have we haven't had a single clear cut chance against ten men. Do we want to make a little cheeky substitution? Lorente can cover. He's kind of my super sub backup centre back, and uh, Digger is a bit knackered, so we'll get rid of him, and we're good to go. Right. See it out. This is far too close. We've still got time for another highlight here. Oh, don't, don't do this. Not Genie One Aldum. Not little angry Berahino. Just shoot from there, mate. Imbula. I'm not liking this. I've got a bad feeling. Oh, Klein's like, no. You shall not pass. That's what he's like. Okay. Apart from now. Um, please, can we not concede a goal? In the 92nd minute. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. What is... What is that? What is that? Oh, my Lord. Why have we not won this game? That is awful. 22 shots. Too many long shots. Not a single clear-cut chance. We just won 9-0 against 11 men. Hull aren't even that bad. They're only like 13th in the league. Oh, my God. Right, OK. Forget that. We'll move on. We're playing Fulham in the League Cup final. Right, it's game day. If you're liking out my edits, just look, go back and look at that seamless edit. Yeah, seamless I don't, I don't record the webcam separately and the game. It's all in one. So I have to... Yeah. Fun times. Fun. <laughs> right, here we go. 
Uh, no, no, that's fine. That's fine. Nobody's dead. Nobody's dead. Lone players to return. That's all good. All good. Right. Okay. So game day. We struggled. We we know we've got a bid for Sacco, but he's he's playing well. So we'll. I think he. Uh, I'm just ignoring the bid rather than reject it and then come in again, piss everybody off a bit more. I'm just ignoring it until I have to reply. That's what I'm doing at the moment. I don't. Nobody played horribly there, did we? Sacco played a 7.2. I'll go Rodriguez. Um, go for the experience. He knows the squad better, so I think we'll go with that. Um, Karras still in goal. I think we're good to go. Let's get into it. I've only selected six substitutions. Okay, give me a moment. Right, let's get into it. Take two. Fulham are currently... Um, where are Fulham? I think they're, champ they're still championship, aren't they? Yeah, fifth in the championship. Okay. Um, we are favourites here. Go. Don't need to give any extra shit. Just tell them... To get it done, get the job done. We want another League Cup final. I want another excuse to wear me suit. That's what we're going for. Look, at it. Look just blow him away. First off, right? Ian Acho, straight from the kickoff. He's just running at him. <laughs> Brilliant. He's like, oh, get. No, no, you probably need to pass a bit there. Okay, this is not going quite to plan. 25 minutes in, and this is only the second highlight of the game. Right, Saul has just played a long bomb. Is it going to work? No. Reem. That's the American guy, isn't it? Tim? Tim Reem? We'll go with it. And that's obviously Robbie Williams. Sonny Aluko. Matip has just hoofed it away and Vardy's doing what Vardy does. He's chasing onto it. He's got through the defender and he's put it away. That's a Leicester goal if you ever saw one. Vardy is just immense at that. He's just waiting, waiting all the time. And finally we get the breakthrough. It's taken us 25, 115 minutes to get a goal against Fulham. And it was a long ball over the top for Vardy. He's loving it. Right, is this a Fulham highlight? Let's not concede straight away, shall we? Right, Christensen. To Sonia Luko. Fuck me! That girl is good at football. Jesus Christ. That was that was not a bad. Oh shit, they've got the away goals, haven't they? Away oh my god, if I can Of all the games! People, of all the games to lose, can we not make it Fulham in the Championship in the League Cup semi-final, please? 16 minutes left. Pl still plenty of time. I'm still still confident, okay? We've created no one decent chance so far. That's the only problem. Oh, we're just giving it back to them. Just giving it back to them. I'm actually getting a little bit nervous now. Yes, Rodriguez, that's more like it. Ward-Prowse turns, looking for options, finds Henderson. Lovely ball to Klein. We know he's got a great assist in him. He whips one in to the back post. Oh, is that tipped over? No, he's just missed it. He's just missed it. Ian Acho. Okay. I'm getting scared. I'm getting scared. Halloween was yesterday. I'm getting scared, though. Um... It was two days ago, wasn't it? Jesus Christ, time flies when you're sitting in your room recording videos. Uh, I'm going aggressive. I'm going to try and fire them up. Fire them up. I'm not going to make any changes. That This team should be easily good enough to smash Fulham, okay? I've got to just stop recording videos because I, I can win the games if we're not recording. I'm just camera shy. Right. Don't be a Fulham highlight, please. Right, we should win this easy. Sewell heads it forward. Astrobal. Astrobal, okay, yeah, we'll go with that name. Aluko drives forward, hits one from distance. We know he can hit him, she can hit him. How long do I give it? I think we go attacking first thing. Oh, no. Cheeky little. There. 
Let's go attacking. Give it another 10 minutes. Ian Acho, plenty of space. What's he going to do? We've got all the midfielders there waiting. Oh. That's not good. It's not good. We're just not clicking today. All right, ball up. Oh, Saul's done really, really well there. Henderson drives forward. This is more like it. Come on, Vardy, back to Henderson. He's got somebody in the central midfield if he needs him, but finds Klein. Klein does really well to keep it in. Plays it back to Henderson with a bizarre one-two. Henderson floats it to the back post. Ian Atro's missed it. It's a oh. couple of good chances with the head for Ian Atro. Need to, is it? Do we get extra? I think we get extra time first, don't we? And then it goes to away goals. I should really check this rule. I always forget it. Right, Vardy. Ward Prowse. Henderson. Back to Kovacic. Oh, that's a poor ball. Right, it's Cabano for Fulham. <laughs> Don't go to score again. It's all us at this point. Fulham are hanging on for grim death. Still got half. Plenty of time left. Henderson. Loads of space. Is he going to drill one from there? It looks like he's going to... Oh, that's poor. Bettinelli with an easy pickup. I'm scared. Right, corner ball. We're good at we've got we've scored a few free kicks this season and corners. Good at set pieces. Matip though. Plays it to Ward Prowse. Hits one. Oh Ward Prowse, you little beauty with a ping from outside of the area. Finally. A thunderous finish according to the commentary on the bottom. And it was a beauty. Matip lays it into his path. He's got nothing else on his mind. Just opens up his body, hits it. Upper Benjamins. Ward Prowse, thank you, Lord and Jesus and baby, baby Jesus. Right, are we going to kill him now? We're going to get the f death blow. We're going for that. It's going to be an Ian Acho header as the death blow. I feel it. Eventually, floated in, headed away again. Klein. Henderson, lovely. Look at this build-up. This is more like it, boys. Fuck's sake. Stop doing that when I'm talking. Just a quick one passing is beautiful. I'm playing down the middle as my uh, team instruction. So they're just pinging it, pinging it to each other. All right, Ryan Tunnicliffe with a clearance. Fulham are just getting... They can't get out of their own area at this point. Rodriguez, lovely take. Hits it, drills it low. Ian Atcho! Not with his head, but with his big toe. It's Ian Atcho. I'm a poet. I didn't really realise. Right, fifteen. I don't know what. I don't know what this is. I don't know what. I've just looked at that. It's not pretty. Well, finally, right, killed him off. Let's make a substitution. Um, give Ella Badabalabui some game time. And um, Emre Chan can swap with James Ward Prowse and everything is well with the world. 22 shots, four half chances, two clear cut. You can't say we didn't deserve it. It just took us just took us a bit of time to get going. Henderson with a free kick. Oh, it's deflected off the wall, hits the crossbar, posty thing like right in the corner. All right. Job done, boys. Job done. Wait. Wait. It's like it's like they don't realize they're 3-1 down. There it is. Job done. Eventually. <sighs> we're in the final. It's suit time, boys. I don't know who we're playing. Let's let's do we know now? Or do we just wait and see? Unbeatable Liverpool set a new record. Twelve games in the League Cup. Yeah? Yeah, it's not that. It's not that exciting, is it? My god. Right, we need to beat Aston Villa in the next game. So We'll come back. We need to trug along. We've only got a couple more episodes of this series, so we're going to boost along, probably to the League Cup finals around there at some point, isn't it? Um, but other than that, it's looking pretty damn good. We're still on for the quadruple. Right. Okay, in the comments, I want you to tell me how many of these am I going to win. Which competitions am I going to win? I'm in all the competitions. I'm top of the league by three points. Let me know. You can be as honest as you like. If you think I'm going to win none, that's fine. I'm playing Sunderland or Swansea in the final. So, that's got to be a shoe in surely. 
I'm going to say we're going to win the league. We're going to... We're going to win the league, we're going to win the League Cup, and we're going to win the Europa League. We're going to f- not win the FA Cup. That's what I'm going, we're going to do. Just the triple. Just the treble. Yeah, yeah. There you go, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the place. Lots more good FM17 content on the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Uh. <laughs>